Hello everyone, this is a demonstration video of the overall settings and the common task settings on following like. Click settings button on the top right. The debug window, task running thread, the number of tasks. This is the switch of image in debug window. This is the number of modules running on each account. This is the switch of statistics. This is the interval time of updating the statistics. This is the program detection function. This is the switch of advertisement. It's also the advertisement in the home page. The last one is the button to prompt to update. Remember, save your settings. Next, the common task settings on following like. The Add Friends task under Facebook Tasks, for example. Select the task and click Settings button. Now click Add Friends. Now you can see the module settings for Add Friends module. For timeout, when this module is running, if it doesn't complete in a specified time, it will stop automatically then, and the next module starts to run, or the whole task will stop. The default time is 240 seconds. For run times, it's the number of times the function runs in a single task. You can also select run all source. All source, also the number of run times of the function, equals to all data source of this function multiplied by all selected accounts. That is to say, if you select to run all source, so the run times equal to 5 pieces data in module URL multiplied by 2 selected accounts. So the run times here will be 10. Next, I will talk about settings in send message module. If you select it, the task will not get duplicate data when it's running. Duplicate data means there is data used before by the task when it's run the module. For wipe cache button, it means to clear the data used or searched before. Now move to account module. Here you can set how to fetch data. You can use all checked accounts. You can also use one checked account randomly. So you can check accounts here in the list. Now we move to URL module. There are two data drop down list for how to fetch data. It means the way to use data in this module. Get the first line of data each time. Get the last line of data or fetch the data randomly. Here you can choose how to delete data after fetch and use. That is to say, how you are going to deal with the data after being fetched and used. Here are four choices for you. Don't delete means not to delete, not to move. Delete the row. The third one, move the row to the last. The fourth one, move the row to the first. Move to the last corresponds to fetch the first row of data here. Fetch the last row corresponds to move to the first. Random row corresponds to delete the row. Now we move to add friends module. Here is one more drop down list. Select the results. It means whether the add friends function is executed successfully or not. I choose successful results here. For how to fetch data list, it's the same with the list in URL module. Fetch the first row here. For how to delete data after fetch and use list, it's also the same with the list in URL module here. For the fourth module text, the two drop down lists are exactly the same with the lists in URL module. The last module send message. 
the user source is add friends module. Get back to the third module add friends. Here I choose success results. So the source comes from the third module add friends. Fetch the first row of data each time. It means it will fetch the first data of success results each time and will move the data to the last after fetching. That's the end. Thank you.